friends my name is Holly welcome back to my channel and today I'm pretty excited to share with y'all an awesome spring haul so this is stuff that I have gotten from all over like an estate sale yard sale Hobby Lobby uh, some subscribers that sent me some fun things in the mail um, just kind of all over and it's lots of things that I have gathered up last week for spring y'all today what all I have found where I got it I'll also be linking some things down below for you to purchase if you were interested in them and then we're gonna be going through and decorating the house with these items so I actually loved videos like that Miranda started doing that where she was gathering up all these kind of fun things and then sharing with y'all how she was using them in her home and I'm excited to decorate with the things that I got so I thought I not go ahead and share that with y'all also first off before we get started I wanted to go ahead and say thank y'all for being here with me today and I hope that y'all are so enjoying this new spring series that I'm doing where I'm doing one decorate video a week and one like spring haul a week of things that I find are out and about throughout the previous week and so next week um, we'll probably be decorating my kitchen and then I'll be doing another haul on things that I find from the thrift store I want to go to the thrift store later this week but we'll be doing lots of fun things next week also so if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to be here with us and kind of keep up with everything and to start decorating with us for spring go ahead and get started because I have lots of things to share with y'all today so I'm kind of going to go through them fast so let's start off with y'all know a couple weeks ago I went to this thing called vintage market days of Alabama and I purchased this beauty and I have talked to y'all about it already but I'll go ahead and give y'all the rundown so it was a cute little booze and they had stuff like this made from old bottles old like um wine bottles and things like that so this is something that I'm able to put crackers in you could do all kinds of things with this the reason I'm sharing this again is because they sent me something else that I'm super excited about sharing but if you missed it before I was going to show you so you can put crackers in this um lots of different uses but I'll show y'all what I'm doing and then I also um one of the things that I purchased was from Petals from the past and it's these little dip mixes I'll share with y'all more of these later, but it's where you can put like your dips or chicken salad or something like that on here, and you could take this to an event or a party or have it with you outside on a picnic or just inside. So I love having little things like this to snack around on during the day so you can actually set them whoops, beside each other on the countertop like this, and it's just a very pretty look. So uh, lots of other things were done. They put um, coffee they put coffee grounds down here and then they also up here put like the little coffee filters uh for the fall time they had like pumpkins down here and then a cute little uh pumpkin sign or they had like dog treats down here and then the dog toys i mean they just had so many different ideas that you could do with this as a decor piece or as using it for like a serving piece to display your food and stuff in that was super pretty so i wanted to share with you all that I actually reached out to me and said that a lot of y'all bought those they sent me an email and said thank you so much for advertising our small business i had so many orders this past week from you sharing that she, last video i was talking about this thing and she said i want to gift you and your mom one of these so she actually sent me one and my mom one and y'all we were so so excited because we really wanted one of these we just didn't buy it at the time while we were there is it let me turn it around for you so there I'll link them down below I believe their name is going green lanterns they have all kinds of different little things you can use uh, from old bottles how they recycled them and it was like bird feeders and then this right here so awesome so my mom she asked what colors we wanted and my mom picked the clear glass and I picked the amber glass one and so this one kind of looks green to me but I think it's the amber look so this is what you do it's actually for your herbs and it comes in this cute little box and then you just take your herb and I will I'm not going to share with you all how to decorate with this on this video you can look out for my other spring video decorate with me and see how I do it because I don't have any herbs I want to put in here yet so you fill this part with water and then right here you put your soil in and your herb so I know that I'm doing cilantro and chives in these I might even do dill I'm still looking to think of the third one that I want to use that I cook with in the kitchen a lot so I know that I use chives and cilantro a lot so I'm going to plant that in here and then it comes with this little whoop stem and you just put it together like this and that is how it waters your herb so I'm sure you could use other flowers in here too but I just thought the herbs was a fabulous idea so like I said whenever this goes empty of water all you do is pick this up rewater it 
Is that not the cutest thing? I love this and it's recycled glass. It is just so cute. So if you want one of these, you can get, and there's different colors. They have all kinds of little different bottle decorations and things like that, but so much. They are located in Georgia and it's just the cutest idea. I absolutely love it. You could even take it out of the box and use the box for something else and then just set these around your house if you wanted to or around your garden area is so adorable so thank y'all so much for sending me this my mom and i are super thrilled about it i was talking about petals from the past i picked these up because i wanted to get me some um dip mixes to put in my cute little new jar so these i believe it tells you how to make it this one's with sour cream this is with sour cream uh anyway it'll tell you the ingredients on what all you need um, to make these mixes, but I grabbed the Dillius Deal one and then also the green chili and cilantro one So I'm excited to make these I got these at Petals from the past um, I used to work there I would like to still say that I'm an employee there, but I have been so busy lately. I haven't been able to um, Be there like I wanted to but we are gonna be still doing some like filming um, they have antiques in the gardens coming up in, at the end of April. It's a huge plant nursery in Jemison, Alabama, and I'll link them down below. I get all my antique roses from there. Their gift shop is incredible. And so, uh, I went there this weekend. I got a few plants, and I grabbed these. And then I also grabbed one of these. Y'all heard me talk about them before. It is a little spice sachet, and I get them. I have two of them for Christmas, one for the summertime that has peaches. So, I wanted more of a spring one. And it's full of spices. Whenever you make a hot beverage and you set it down, you put your cup on top of it and it heats up the spices inside of it and it smells so warm. I love how this smells. And it's so cute. Just to like sit around for decorations. So I grabbed this. Things that I'm going to be sharing with y'all actually came from like an estate sale. So my neighbors that lived beside us ever since I can remember they actually both passed away sadly and my aunt is getting their like little estate sale ready and so she asked me to come over and if there was anything that I saw that I wanted um to come over there and let her know and I could have like one of the first looks before she really had the estate sale and so she was selling some things from in there there's also going to be another time that I'm going to be going because they're going to be cleaning out the garage area and this stuff was really special to me just because of um, who it was. I don't want to give out the names. Anyway, because I think they were kind of private people. But anyway, so I did grab these two things from her. I grabbed three things, but one of them was just like a nice cooking knife. Um, and so I grabbed two things from there. And like I told you, I'm going to be going back. But this is what I grabbed so far. It like is packed full of awesome treasures. But I grabbed this huge cutting board. From there and I loved it so I was gonna use this in the kitchen I mean as you can see it is massive and then the next thing that I grabbed from there was actually in the garage and it was messed up and we ended up fixing it and I've been wanting one of these for forever but I had just never bought one yet it was just very dusty kind of gross I brought it home and cleaned it up it is got a lot of character to the bottom but I don't mind that my aunt Beth was like you could probably like clean that up and I was like nope I like it just like that so I grabbed one of these lamps I love brass and y'all know I love this green color I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet um, if I'm gonna put it in the living room bedroom I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up putting it in my office but as I'm looking right now I see a cute spot that would be in the living room so I grabbed this lamp and again, this is from that estate sale. About another yard sale. This one actually came from Kayla Friday's house. So she had a big yard sale, big cleaning out, and she had these. And y'all know I have loved these ever since I saw them and went and videotaped to her house however many years ago. Before we, I can't remember how many years we've been going to Kayla's house now. Y'all, she was selling the deer candlesticks. I was pumped I had to have them so I got both of these for $20 and I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet but I just knew whenever I saw them I had to have them they're the cutest little candlesticks and I saw them at Christmas Village a couple of years ago 
but they were pretty pricey. So I was like, well, I'll just wait. And I'm glad that I did because now I have something of Kayla Friday's. So I grabbed these. This is something that actually came in the mail and I have been waiting on it. So y'all know that I love Young Living and y'all all the time are messaging me, asking me questions about the Young Living deals or bundles or promo codes. And so I was going to share with y'all a little bit something that I was going to do this month. I'm going to share it on my Instagram page too. Y'all be sure to check me over there on Instagram at Simply Lake and Lace. And, um... Y'all can see how I use all of my cleaners, how I make my cleaners, how I use my essential oils, all that kind of thing. It's just like day in the life over there on Instagram all the time in my story section. So you can decorate with me over there, just see what I'm doing every day. It's a lot of fun over there on Instagram. And so... Um, usually I just share these little promos that I do on Instagram, but I thought I would share this one on here with y'all today since it's like the spring's coming in and spring cleaning. So I'm actually doing that if you purchase any bundle with me, um, through Young Living, most, the most popular one that everybody gets is the $165 kit and it comes with a diffuser. It's actually a diffuser and a humidifier, 12 different essential oils. It comes with some Thieves hand sanitizer, it comes with Nietzsche Red, it comes with, um... Uh, something else too. Anyway, just a big bundle of stuff for $165. There's a whole lot of different other kits out there too. Um, some that are some some that are even a little bit cheaper, but it's not oils. It's like cleaners and stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, you can actually just email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com. And I'll link my email down below, and you can ask me. And most of the time, um, if I see that you're really interested in stuff, then I'll give you my phone number so we can text because I hate emailing, but I don't want to just blast my phone number all over YouTube. So um, a lot of y'all have texted me before, and I send y'all brochures and graphics. And then you also will get, whenever you, if you decide that you do want to start this new process with us, this new... Um, cleaner lifestyle and now that spring is coming everybody's going to be spring cleaning their homes and you can do it with more natural safer products and i will be glad to help you with all of that you will actually get in weekly tips from me it's like called tip tuesday and it is from my work phone it is me and so whenever you're responding it's me that you're talking with and i can help you through all of that so you're not just like getting this bundle deal full of goodness that you don't know what to do with i am always here you can message me anytime i'm here to help y'all and then also we have an awesome facebook group that we have live classes in there that we show like how we are how we're using our cleaners how we're using our essential oils how we're using our essential oils medicinally and so so many awesome things that young living offers we have vitamins and supplements and a baby line a kid line a pet line um, and this is not just oils, like it's anything that you can go to the drugstore. We have toothpaste and deodorants and diaper wipes and diaper creams and sunscreens, like everything. Oh my goodness, like I cannot even. We have makeup, the whole Savvy Minerals, um, all natural makeup. Anyway, so if you're interested in any of that, just email me. But what I am doing, if you purchase any bundle kit with me this month, um, the first six people that do are going to receive, it's not this one, because this one's mine, but a a uh, cute little glass amber jar and then also a cute thieves cleaner label the one that i found on etsy um i like a whole lot it's different than this but it has all the different um plants that make up the thieves cleaner which is the eucalyptus rosemary lemon cinnamon bark and clove it has all of those um plants on here and it's super cute little drawing of it and then it describes the thieves cleaner a little bit more but you will be getting the label from me and this bottle they should be here any day now and then i'm also going to be gifting you a roller ball that comes with one of these really cute labels this one's mine i haven't opened up the new box yet so it is seasonal sniffles it's this cute little label and it says um, a blend of lavender, lemongrass, and peppermint essential oils. Roll into temples and bottoms of feet for seasonal allergy relief. So it'll be a cute little rollerball for you that whenever you get your kit, you will get, um, if you get this kit, you will get lemon, lavender, and peppermint in your bundle. And then also a sample of the Thieves Cleaner. So this is basically what that drawing looks like. That's going to be on the label for this bottle. 
So I'll, all you have to do is pour this into here and then fill the rest of it with water and you have your Thieves Cleaner. This stuff is so affordable and it is so good for you to be cleaning with. It is good for your lungs to breathe it in. I've told y'all this before, but just imagine why you're spring cleaning your home with all those harmful chemicals that we all cleaned with, or I used to clean with, I don't anymore. And we're coughing and gagging as we're trying to get our house clean. Just imagine how much damage that's doing to your lungs and your body. Anyway, while I'm cleaning with this, it is actually benefiting me to breathe this in. And so I love this stuff and it smells amazing. So you're gonna get this and then a cute little roller ball with the label. And so that's if you get any bundle kit with me. All right, so I wanted to show you all that because that all came in and spring cleaning season is about to be here. The next things that I wanna share with y'all is that, um, Althea and I, my mother-in-law and I, we went out shopping out and about Friday and we went to Hobby Lobby and I'm going to show you all those things later, but we were in Hobby Lobby and she was like, I wonder if they're having that sale today. So it's called Farmhouse and Family, I think, or Farmhouse and Friends. Anyway, it's in Alabaster, Alabama and it's not open all the time to the public. It's just um i don't really know how this started i guess it was just like a couple that loved this farmhouse decorations that love these farmhouse decorations and it started off smaller and then it just grew and grew and grew and they do it i don't even really know how often they do it but you have to follow them on their facebook page i might even try to find their facebook page and then link it down below for y'all anyway so we were in hobby lobby and she was like i wonder if they're open today so i looked it up and they were they were having their first like spring opening so i was going to share with y'all some of the things i got there so the first thing that I got, and it's not like very springy, the things that I got, but um, I got these. I was looking for some wooden um, measuring cups for me to put in my new uh, glass canisters that y'all saw. So I ended up getting these from there. They were $7 each. They came in different sizes, a cup, a half cup, and then probably a fourth cup, but I just wanted the big one. So I grabbed these. They're so pretty. I cannot wait to decorate with those. And then I also grabbed some um, of these wash rags because my mother-in-law has one. She got some whenever we went to Magnolia from that Clint's, uh, from Clint's place. I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, she got some of these rags and she loves them. So I grabbed this color and then also this color. So I grabbed two of those and then also this awesome dish towel. Um... So I grabbed the rags and then the towel. Now, I have lots of cute dish towels, but um, I don't use them to like drop dishes and things like that with. And the ones that I do have are really dingy and gross now because I've had them for years since her and I have been married. So I was like, I'm gonna grab one of these. So I loved the texture and just how like durable it felt. And then the next thing that I grabbed from there was this basket. I have lots of baskets. I'm kind of a basket addict, but I loved this one. I thought it'd be awesome. I thought it'd be so cute. I mean, I had tons of baskets that I could have done this with, but this one was just different. I thought it'd be so cute to take outside, and I want to do like a cut garden where like I go out and just cut some flowers from the stems and put them in here and bring them in to be able to um, put in vases around the house to have fresh flowers, and then also for a vegetable garden. I thought it was super cute, so I grabbed this basket. So that was all from that little farmhouse and friends that I bought from there. But they have all kinds of things. I just didn't need all of that. So I will be going back. I probably should even do a YouTube video there. And I think that I will whenever they have the next one. The next thing are these. Oh, aren't they cute? This is gifts from Kayla. My cousin Kayla. Um, so we always have like fun little Tuesday adventures. And we haven't done them in a while because... We've been so busy with other things, but we're hoping to go back on a Tuesday. So she grabbed this for me from the Target dollar spot for us just to kind of have fun with. And then she also gifted me this cute little bunny plate. These, these cute little bunny plates that came from the Target dollar spot. And then also the napkins. So thank you, Kayla. Aren't these so cute? This is a pretty big spring haul. Next is from Hobby Lobby. So I grabbed this. I saw Miranda had one of these. And I love it. I love cooking with wooden spoons. And so whenever she saw, I saw her haul where she got this at Hobby Lobby, I had to go grab it. So this was $4.99 and 40% off in the spring section. A huge wooden spoon. I love cooking with these. And then also I grabbed some moss and some eggs. Different assorted eggs. Look, this is some green preserved moss. 
and I have an idea that I'm going to do with this. So I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to decorate this. I'm actually going to use it for that tray right there behind me. Um, so I'll share with y'all that. And then I grab these blue eggs and these white eggs. So I'm going to use all this to decorate that tray or start decorating that tray. So grab a cute little nest. I used to have these everywhere and I sold them all and now I was like, okay, I'm ready to kind of decorate for like Easter again. So we're gonna do like a neutral spin on Easter decorations. So I grabbed this cute little nest. I grabbed, um, this was in like the floral stem section, like where the fruit and stuff is at Hobby Lobby, the fake fruit. So I grabbed these set, this white, and then this tan set of eggs. I wanted to get some real ones but I didn't want to waste them with the idea that I have. So I just went ahead and grabbed some fake ones. percent off they were in the spring section. So it's got the blue, the cream, the green, and the white. So I'm going to be using these all mixed together for this little chicken bucket that I have for my kitchen island. But I'll show you that in a minute. So I grabbed all these eggs. These eggs. They're little plastic white eggs that you fill up with different candies and things for kids for like Easter egg hunting. And so I don't love like for decorations putting lots of pastel and color in my home. So when I saw these, I thought they were so cute. And I actually had an idea with this. I'm thinking about putting these in a basket and go ahead and finding like some little prizes and stuff to put in here. Maybe like some dollar bills and stuff like that along with some candy. And then uh, putting them in a cute basket to display. And whenever the kids come over here to play with me, kids around the house and let them find them. Or hide them outside and let them find them. So I thought it was just a fun little thing to have displayed in the home. And it could be used for like a fun little game whenever the kids come over here. My niece and nephew. Eli and Alyssa, if you're new to my channel, they're so adorable. I have shared with y'all everything that I got. We're going to go around and decorate a few places. So here's my little chicken I was talking about. I actually got it from the thrift store a few years ago. And I thought it would be so cute to have the real eggs in there. And like I said, I didn't want to waste real eggs. So I just bought these fake ones. And then these won't stay here, but I want to get some real fresh hydrangeas. I'm just picturing some white, crisp hydrangeas in a pretty vase full of water right here for my island for spring. But I did have these preserved um, hydrangeas. So... I just had them in this vase already, so I just brought those in here to kind of give you an idea on how to kind of decorate a kitchen island for spring and Easter and it'd be like neutral colors. So I thought that was super cute. This new cutting board and then also these are whoops little scoops that i got off of amazon they're a lot smaller than i wanted them i think this one is fine my confectionery sugar but i wanted those bigger scoops for these jars so i'll put those in here as well but first i need to wash those but i think that this turned out so cute and i love this new look that it's given the kitchen and like i said be on the lookout for next week because i'm planning on posting the kitchen decorate with me video um, next week either on Tuesday or Friday and I'm excited about how the kitchen is looking it is so fresh and clean and I've moved a good bit around I hope that y'all enjoyed this little spring haul that I had for y'all today and then also starting to decorate with some of those items that I purchased last week I love how our house is coming together and I cannot wait to share with y'all more decorate with me videos I hope that y'all have a great weekend and I will see y'all on the next one bye y'all